Hello, dear explorers. Welcome to Train Your Brain. This is a place where we explore, discover, and learn together in a fun, engaging, and easy to understand way. Endless curiosity. Each topic hides something special, so stay with us and uncover the world of knowledge. In this first season, I have prepared over 200 incredibly interesting videos covering various topics about our bodies, history, natural disasters, space exploration, animals and much, much more. These videos are made to inspire both young and older explorers alike. And now it's time to start. Today, I have something really special for you. Are you ready? Let's dive into the first topic. Magnetic Magic – Exploring the Power of Magnets Have you ever played with a magnet? They are pretty cool because they have a special power called magnetism. Magnetism is a force that pulls certain materials towards it. Magnets have two ends called poles – a north pole and a south pole. When you bring the north pole of one magnet close to the south pole of another magnet, they attract each other. But if you try to bring two north poles or two south poles together, they push away. This is called repulsion. Magnets can attract certain metals like iron, nickel and cobalt. That's why they stick to things like fridge doors and metal toys. But magnets aren't just for sticking things together. They also have other cool powers. For example, magnets can make compasses point north. That's because the needle inside a compass it magnetizes and allies itself with Earth's magnetic field. Magnets are used in lots of things we use every day, like electric motors, speakers and even credit cards. They help make our technology work. Scientists are always learning more about magnets and how they work. They even study things called magnetic fields, which are invisible areas around magnets where their power is strongest. So, the next time you play with a magnet, remember that you are exploring the magical world of magnetism. A force that's full of surprises and powers. I hope you enjoyed this part. Let me know in the comments if it was already familiar to you. Now let's explore something new. In the next video, you will find even more fascinating facts, so stay with us. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. Sink or float? Fun with science. Did you ever wonder why some things sink in water and others float? It's all about science. Let's find out more about this fun experiment. When we put things in water, like toys or fruits, they can either sink down to the bottom or float on the surface. The reason behind this is something called density. Density is how much stuff is packed into an object. If something is heavy and has a lot of stuff packed into it, it will sink. But if something is light and has less stuff packed into it, it will float. For example, a rock is heavy and dense, so it sinks in water. But a plastic bottle is light and less dense, so it floats. 
Even big ships can float because they are designed to spread out their weight over a large area. You can try this experiment at home. Just gather different objects like a coin, a piece of wood and a rubber ball. Then put them in a bowl of water and see which ones sink and which ones float. It's a fun way to learn about density and discover why things behave the way they do in water. So, the next time you're at the pool or by a lake, remember the science behind sink or float. It's all about density. Isn't it amazing how much we can learn about the world around us? But we are not done yet. Up next is another exciting topic. You may already know about it or it might be completely new to you. Let's find out. Zooming with science. Make your own balloon car. Did you know? You can make a cool car that runs on air right at home. Here's how. 1. Gather your materials. You will need some cardboard, straws, bottle cups, tape, and a balloon. 2. Build your car. Cut out a small rectangle from the cardboard to make the body of your car. Attach the bottle caps to the bottom corners of the cardboard to make wheels. Then, tape the straws onto the sides of the car to make axles for the wheels. 3. Add the balloon. Tape the opening of the balloon onto the back of the car. Make sure it's sealed tight so no air can escape. 4. Ready, set, go! Inflate the balloon by blowing air into it, then pinch the opening shut. Place your car on a smooth surface and when you're ready, let go of the balloon. Watch as the air rushes out of the balloon, propelling your car forward. This simple experiment teaches us about the power of air and how it can be used to make things move. So, grab your materials and get ready to race with your homemade balloon-powered car! And that's all for today! I hope you had fun and learned something new! Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to this channel. Train Your Brain is a channel where you will find new, exciting and educational content. Let's make learning fun. Stay curious, keep exploring and see you in the next video.